All the reasons Miguel is impossible. Miguel's my name is Taffrey 16. Welcome back to another reaction video and welcome to my second reaction to Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares. So I did the first episode of Liz Bonaparte's uh, a couple weeks ago and y'all seem to really seem to want more of it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do more of it. We're going to go in order and go to... I don't think we technically have to go in order with this show. I will for now. Uh, we're going to do Series 1, Episode 2, which is called The Glass House. So let's go ahead and watch it. One thing I want to mention real quick before we start is I kind of had to do a hack job on this. What I mean is the full episode of this uploaded to YouTube for whatever reason did not include the first eight and a half minutes of the episode. I don't know why. So I the YouTube posted version, the 39 minutes of it at least, is 1080p. But I couldn't find the first eight and a half minutes so I downloaded a full version of the episode off Dailymotion uh, which was in 480p. So I just decided to mash them together. And therefore, the first eight and a half minutes of this episode is in 480p stretched to 1080p, while the rest of the episode is in actual 1080p. So at about, about eight and a half minutes in, the quality is going to very randomly improve drastically. That's why. So let's do it. People dream of owning a restaurant in a quaint town like this, set in beautiful countryside, cooking fresh local produce, serving loyal locals as well as the tourists. A restaurant to die for, surely. But the glass house is in deep trouble. Fucking partridges. <laughs> Fucking all right, do our hotel, yeah? Not losing it. Oh, for fuck's sake, Dean. No, that's them. The kitchen's in chaos, and the customers are mighty unimpressed. It was rare. The other half was just about cooked, and it was so tough, and it was really disappointing. It's losing money like there's no tomorrow, and the owner's about to crack up. I'd rather not be here. I'd burn the bloody place down. Jesus. No, better not put that on camera. <laughs> he's at his end. So he's called me in to turn it around. I've got just one week to do it, and that's a tall order. Garlic popcorn. I Garlic will save the old restaurant. I won't tolerate excuses. Last night you had bad breath. No hiding place and no bullshit. You're talking out your ass. I'll go anywhere. You're talking out your fucking ass. All right. <laughs> Neil Farrell has always dreamt of owning a restaurant, but in three years since he bought the glass house, his dream has turned into a nightmare. He's deep in debt. Jeez. So many people are after him for money that he's turned his mobile phone off. He could Fuck. go mad, and he may even go bust. When it's your own place, and it's your own money, mm. and you're, you're the one that's, you know, yeah. walking the tightrope, yeah. it's, 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 very, it's very different. Yeah. And that's my problem, yeah. that we haven't, we haven't worked out which road we're taking. No, no, At least he's had the sense to call me in for help. <laughs> but if Neil's going to pull this one out of the fire, he's got to take some tough decisions. <laughs> I can't do that for him, but of course I can encourage him. First stop, the kitchen, to see if the chefs know what they're doing. The head chef's 37 like me. He trained at Claridge's oh, before 37 my time. At the time. He's on 25 grand this a was year, 04, so, so yeah, makes sense. he'd better be good. About the same amount as you did uh, the other day. Until he says I can call him Gordon, he's Mr. Ramsey. <laughs> no, you're That's smart. He, he thinks that there might be some confusion with Harry Ramsden's. First, I need to watch him cook and see how he runs his kitchen. Everyone's nervous that they're going to call him Mr. Ramsden. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Mr. Ramsey. Hey. Really pleased to meet you. Likewise. First name? Richard. Richard. Where do you think it's going wrong? It's a very Truthfully. difficult question. We've been a bit ahead against many a time. What we're doing wrong is should we turn it, turn it into a pizzeria? Is that what people want? It's got to the stage now where I just feel it ain't working. And I'm questioning my ability. Well, that's to good. control his team and inspire them, the head chef's got to believe in himself. Ready? Otherwise, cloths, forget it. Two cloths. Check Caesar salad, battered salmon. <laughs> Hello. Check, suit, no communication. Ham Not a dicky follow. bird. No one even answers the head chef. No, no fucking Bad news. feedback. No, no, we chef. No. Nothing. I have to ask for it. Oh, you have to ask for it? Nine times out of ten. Craig, you're not lost for words, are you? No, not at all. Big hard man, are you? We are in. How's it going? <laughs> 
Time to test Richard's cooking. I thought what would be a nice thing to do, um, just for today, was to go upstairs and have a quick bite to eat. For yourself, too. Yeah, just in your hands. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna cook for me. You choose your favourites, your specialities. Yeah. I want three duck cake pudding in. He's not having those, he's having four fresh ones. Yeah. Of which he's going to eat two. Richard's proud of his duck cakes with chilli jam. Exotic? No. Pretentious crap. Oof. They have got scotch eggs. <laughs> Big <laughs> camera's bollocks. And someone's been very lazy in the kitchen. Because they've got a bloody bone. Fresh my ass. Well, mm. fresh bone. So, I'll save that one for later. <laughs> Another of his favourite combos, braised lamb shank with parsnip crisps. It's very clumsy. Clumsy cooking and lazy elements. The oil on these stink. But it has been changed about three or four weeks. The whole meal would set you back nearly 30 quid. Way Damn. too much. Oh, shit. Get <laughs> that storm in there, bro. The food was disappointing. Sadly, I did choke, obviously, salt law, but that was um, stuck at the back of my throat. But, however, you know, I'm glad it was me, not a paying customer. <laughs> you know what? A restaurant owner's best investment will whoa, always be whoa, in the show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And if you haven't got that sort of major asset <laughs> downstairs in the kitchen, then forget it. The guy's got to be a motivator. He's got to be a leader. He's got to make you money. He's got to bring customers back. And clearly, from what I've seen so far, Neil hasn't got that in Richard. That's pretty obvious. That's why they cut this part off YouTube. It was too sexy. I got it now. Too Next sexy job, for YouTube.com. We're pushing the boundaries here, boys. Good head chefs get the best out of their team, no matter what. Ian was a waiter but got bored serving food. So now he's trying to cook it instead. Good God. Ian's girlfriend, Claire, only works here part-time. As a main job, is running a bookshop. I suspect she's only here because she's going out with Ian. Got wild animals that don't nibble about it, but nothing. Randall, the kitchen porter, thinks we're related because we're both from Scotland. <laughs> Richard, you taste this. Yeah. Craig, Craig's in year two at Catering College. He looks pretty clueless to me, but let's hope he proves me wrong. Damn. A good team will always turn out good food, Three whatever the pressure. Three it's one of the busiest nights of the year, Saturday at half term. So it's a perfect test. What is that? That's a there are 106 customers booked. Holy if they're shit. happy, they'll spend an average of 30 quid each, plus wine. And the glass house will take over four grand. But their biggest problem is coping with lots of orders. Fucking dumb fucks upstairs are up. That's what's with their arse. It's a second fucking call away from non-existent table. As well. Well, the kitchen. Neil did tell me, when the pressure's intense, the kitchen collapses into chaos. And you know what? It's true. Someone answer me, someone have a look in the oven. He ends up giving yeah. meals away. Things soon go from bad to very ugly. No, it's not fucking all right. Do our hotel, yeah? What happened? It's full of fat. It's horrible. It hasn't been trimmed. Fat. It's fat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Take it to Richard. Jay, get on the phone now. Find out where this fish was going. See if that's where it's going. The whole thing's gone pear-shaped. Everyone's running around like headless chickens, um, eye off the ball, and um, just a massive breakdown in communication. Fucking party. I mean, there isn't any communication. I need a bigger piece of sea bass. Can't have a breakdown if it doesn't exist. It's gone up, needs to come back, and that needs to be cooked some more. You want this fucking party yeah. cooking more? For fuck's sake. I need another partridge plaid. Randall, have you just been reading the right check? It's really grim. My apologies, Chef. 36 have had their starters. We've had the order in for 40 minutes. Yes. I'm glad I'll say. That's not good enough. Where's that big check? Yeah. Where's the big check? You break your fucking balls and you really go for it. Yeah. And do you know what? I fucking why. Let's go rescue. I'll tell you how you can rescue me in this room. Fucking buy it off me. Fucking buy it off me, mate. And you'll do me the biggest fucking favour you could. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I think someone's about to piss his pants. <laughs> I think he's just gone there. <laughs> and... I've boom. been at the Glasshouse restaurant in Ambleside for just a day. 
From what I've seen so far, it's going to be bloody hard to turn this place around in a week. A month, possibly. But now it's inquest time. And there's no question where to start. That cocky chef. Left, please. Yeah. It was going well. Holy shit. <laughs> huh? Ten past nine. Did he quit the uh, went outside, um, <laughs> have a quick chat with customers, and all of a sudden I started seeing this food coming back. Huh? Where do you think it broke down? Fucked up. You're not using the guys properly. But the guys just fucking let go as normal. And things were coming down, they just went fucking chaotic. Say every fucking Saturday we've ever done was exactly the same. Maybe I just shouldn't give a shit. Maybe I should just say, fuck you, give us your money, thanks very much. Then it wouldn't bother me, and I could go home, and it wouldn't matter if I've got a shit restaurant, because there's loads of them out there, and the owners are driving around in bloody Porsches. I'm driving a shitty Astro van, and I'm fucking close to tears. Do you know what? God damn. Neil would rather throw himself in Lake Windermere than actually turn around and be the bad guy with his staff. That guy's incredible. Yeah. It's not all kitchen. I feel bad for him. But, but um, you know, the kitchen's the engine room. Oh, Richard? Yeah, if we're not firing all pistons, then we're not, you know, on the ball. Craig. Yeah? Come here. Did you elderberry on one? Yeah, come in. The chef's asked me a question. What was his question? The question was, what happened at 20 past nine? Where did we go? We were fucking motoring. You look like a sack of shite. <laughs> come on, homie. <laughs> Where'd he go? Well, at least have the bollocks to apologise to him. Yeah. He's standing there bawling his fucking eyes out. Yeah, take your fucking hat off. <laughs> take your jacket off and fuck off home. We've hit rock bottom. That was quick. Don't get upset. Huh? Hey. I'm telling you, I don't want you to get upset. The team will need a real boost if we're going to get back on track. It was all going so fucking well. But there's still some problems to tackle. It's my second day in the Lake District, trying to save the Glasshouse restaurant. And I tell you what, it's an uphill struggle. Next battle, hygiene. This place is about as clean as a puppy's litter tray. Jeez. This secret film was taken last week. They what? knew I'd sent someone to check around, but... They didn't know it was Mark Sargent, my head chef at Claridge's. <laughs> and they didn't know he had a camera hidden in his hat. Oh, my God. <laughs> God. Plastic containers. They instantly tell me the food's not as fresh as it should be. Even the head chef's not sure. Rather than you than me, mate. Bro, he fucking James Bond in them. This kitchen is filthy. Straight from the dirty floor into the pesto. It's supposed to be a kitchen, not a building site. Gordon's gonna have their bollocks with us. <laughs> Morning. Let's go. Jesus, look at the shit in there. Is that clean every night? Wasn't me. The cardinal rule of cooking. He said it wasn't the me. The kitchen must be clean. Huh? And by clean, I mean spotless. The normal clean down, which is what, every Saturday night after service? We do it throughout the week. But you must have one big clean of the week, no? Just don't have the time. Randall, don't bullshit. It's not bullshit. At the end of the night, the last thing I want to do is look up. <laughs> end of the night, mate time. Clean kitchen, clean food. Lazy kitchen porter, P45. <laughs> Randall. Randall's gonna quit, bro. But it's not just up to the kitchen porter. Everyone should be responsible, but they're not. <clears throat> You've got to trust the brigade that you're paying. And secondly, yeah. um, you know, bring them on, evolve them, make them talented, yeah. keeping hold of them, motivating them, um, evolving them, increasing their responsibilities, working on them. Let me think how much time we spend together in the kitchen all day long. Yeah, and it looks like a sack of family, isn't it? It's exactly that. Well, we spend it's the first time because we spend yeah. more time together in the kitchen than we do at home with our bloody family. Oh, nice. Nothing more I can do till they finish. Time for Neil. I do wish he'd turn on his mobile phone, grow some bollocks, and act like a bloody boss. <laughs> He's there just are too angrily many customers cutting to cope wood. With on Saturday nights. But the rest of the week, the place is deserted. That guy's That's incredible, because no bro. one can find it. 
When I walked past for the first time, coming down here from the right-hand side, I had no idea where the restaurant was. Yeah. And here, we should have a nice, prominent sign. Right. Glass House Restaurant, yeah. with a menu board, beautifully lit, and whether you want to put some little bloody neon lights or nice fancy lights around it is an attraction. Right. And, and, and that lit, see that sign there, yeah. the Glass House? Yeah. And with a new logo and the new printing, just something that, you know, um, speaks value. Right. Yeah. Because um, it, looks, it looks too comic-y. It doesn't even say we're a restaurant, does it? No, it doesn't say you're a restaurant, no. Exactly. I want to see a bloody telephone number on there. Caesar salad. Caesar yeah. salad. You know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm sorry to. I, I, I'm just wondering this, watching him, just people randomly walk past him. How famous was Ramsey at this point in 04? Obviously, not as much as he is now, but like, is this show the first thing he really gained notoriety for in terms of like a a national scale? I'm, I'm just curious. If anyone knows the answer to that, let me know. He started a sentence. Let me go back like a couple seconds. Exactly. I want to see a bloody telephone number on there. Caesar salad, Caesar yeah. salad um, duck cakes. Now for the menu. Jam, a well-written menu uh, should bodies. entice customers inside. Yep. At best, yep. okay. this one is confusing. At worst, it's just bizarre. I don't want to read popcorn. Garlic yeah. popcorn. Where I don't want to read episode S. <laughs> so something, the vegetarians always say that they've got no, there's no crunch or no body in any of the dishes. They've they got have. no palate. What are you worrying about <laughs> a vegetarian for? Yes! For God's sake, vegetarianism <laughs> is on the decline. Um, lunch menu. Got him. Two starters, two main courses, and two puddings. Vegetarian punch yeah, there. Yeah, I'm just wondering how many people are going to come in for yeah. a two-course lunch. Yeah. Um, we're we're going to look at the menus of the two courses, and if it's hearty, rustic, country-fied food, then trust me, because I know you don't want to let go of the sandwiches. And I totally understand. I want to let go. I just don't want to let go of the revenue. I serve sandwiches. I yeah. got no problem serving a lobster roll, suckling pig sandwich. Yeah. I've got no problem. Uh, um, uh, a beautiful um, beef sandwich. Mm. I've got no problem serving sandwiches whatsoever. Okay, guys. Great. We live by the sandwich, we Open die by the sandwich. sandwich. Work down. Good man. Like the season? With a clean kitchen, it. we can improve the food. Good. And I can find out exactly how the team works. Time flowers. Gently now, because they're very, very, very fine. And then, Craig. Yeah. yeah. Taste it. There's your spoon. Craig looks scared stiff of making think. a mistake. He'll have to More change salt. that if he wants to be a chef. A Less salt. salt yeah. We haven't put it in yet. Up, salamand. Yeah. If it's not That's a hot pan, we'll have the fish in the pan. <coughs> it won't cook. Yeah, well, not only that, it's smart, but it'll boil, so we've got no colour on it. Bro, correct, Two more in the outside, one in the centre. Ian's got some bad the habits, the top, but he's only been cooking for so three months, and I think but he may make it eating, one day. I'd actually know when to turn over. How do you know? The whole thing's changing colour, and it gets halfway. What does that mean? Turn it over. Turn it over, yeah. exactly. But we're just going to finish it on the bottom. Okay. Good. Good question. You're a very, very good cook. Yeah? I don't know. Anyone ever told you that before? This restaurant is going to be better than the BLT. Yeah. Up. Oh. Yeah. Fuck over. The BLT. Good. Randall, how's your sandwich? Like a cat that's got the cream in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Different from a BLT? That's better than a BLT. Yeah. Not as good as a Big Mac. Not as good. Fuck off. Not brave, you know that. In a well-run kitchen, everyone makes a contribution. But Richard hasn't even asked his team what they think the problems are. Craig, what's your um, weak point in the kitchen? This is when I get a lot of orders on. I, I don't have them in front of me, so I, right. like, they get shouted out once, and then I have to probably check the ticket again. Put it together in your own mind, then just jot it down. Saturday nights are quite hard when all the checks are coming on, mm -hmm. and I do kind of lose where I'm at and how yeah. many steaks I've got on order and how many. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. When it goes quiet, it's mm -hmm. kind of like it's difficult to motivate yourself. It's That's difficult. What Richard said, yeah. 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 Randall, is that your third one? Second, Second one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Neil's finally agreed to a new lunch menu. Simple, fresh food for a tenner, including the new mackerel sandwich. We've just had a taste of each other's as well. This is excellent. Good. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay. At oh, last, some happy customers. We've got a restaurant full of happy people. Fantastic. Chai, small yeah. amount. Ian. Treat it with a bit of love and care. It seems like it's going better than the last one. Yeah? yeah. And you don't throw it in. Bonaparte is a clusterfuck, though. My god, the kitchen suddenly sounds as if it's running well. One salmon, one sausage. Yeah. Wait. Check. Random. Sweep the floor, please. 
done it already? You've done it already? I've well, it's still dead. I want to sweep yeah. it. Flour everywhere, yeah? And I didn't see you do it anyway. What time was that? What time was that? Uh, when you're done the raising just here. It's dirty, let's go. Nice sweep. There you go. Claire, can you let me know when that front is happening? Yeah. Well, three minutes, Claire. There you go, get yeah. some ramp. Within 30 seconds, every section of the kitchen is talking to one another. Good. Claire, Everyone in the team's responding, but Richard's not working with them. Do you want him to help you? I'm putting the sausage under the man, that's all I've got. Sure. Yeah. This is what I want to get established. Quiet lunch, not really that busy. I just want to see us working together even more now. I know there's nothing for you to do right now, but... There's... Yeah. Yeah? yeah? I know it's painful, but get him doing something for you. Please? Yes, yeah. Thank you. And you? Hey. Oh. Ask yeah. him. Can I do anything for you, Richard? Yeah. What do you need doing? Okay. Sausages, where are they? Mashed, ready to sauce, what can I do? Yeah. I want to bring the brigade together. Even Richard said to me, the guy that's got no man management skills, he's been watching you and the way you are with the guys, yeah. and you're bringing out the best in them. Yeah. You're bringing out the hunger. That's what you pay him 25 grand a year for. I know that. I'm not, I'm not being funny or pissing yeah. around with 25 grand a year. Is I know. a lot of money. But I've been stupid with them. I've been cradling them. My head was too far up my bloody ass to realise what the hell was going on. Neil needs to get his head out of his ass and focus on his job, keeping customers happy and making sure they spend their money. The roasted pepper and tomato gazpacho. He needs his customers to bypass the cheap early supper menu that runs till 7:30, and eat a la carte, and that's how he'll pay off his debts and rebuild his reputation. Let me just tell you something. 15 portions of apple cake, 15 portions of fondant, and 15 portions of bloody gratin dauphinoise. Five nights a week. Whatever that means. It's 125,000 pound a year turnover. <laughs> hey, on three items, out of nearly 20 on a menu. Yeah? Um, the last table just arrived. Said they were early, 15 minutes early. So I want to make sure that Neil doesn't give them the early supper menu because we're going to find out whether or not they're here for a bargain or not. I want to sell the a la carte, not the cheapo menu, because they look like they've got a bit of money. Now, you've got two menus on today. You've got the a la carte menu, and we've also got the early supper menu. Uh, so you've got lots to choose from. Table. Ooh, that table just arrived and said they're really early, 20 minutes early. They're booked at 7.30, so therefore, don't give them the cheap menu. The table of four? Yeah, just sat down. Right. What did you give them? I gave them both. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Will he never learn? Neil must work the tables, not worry about the kitchen. If he only focused, you'd do a fine job. Do you know what? You are a phenomenal salesman. Oh, you got I, the most amazing. I'm, for a second, wine everyone's gonna be like, "You are a fucking idiot." You can take an order. You can take an order. <laughs> and you, you know what? On the Fuck wine. you. And the better the food, the more money they're gonna spend on wine. <laughs> After three days, things are looking up. The yeah. guys upstairs are starting to get the basics. But my big worry is the kitchen. Richard just isn't earning his 25 Fuck grand. I'm really sorry for saying it, but the guy showed no form of inspiration, so if he's not inspired, you know, these young guys are going to dwindle away. Make sure Little Kingdom, yeah? Control it. It's the biggest problem in the glass house, but Neil just won't face the facts. I'm going to have to show him how well the kitchen can run without his head chef. Don't take this the wrong way, but I want you to take the night off tonight. And I want you to take the night off. Now, I love both of you to have dinner together. Right. Don't you have to be <laughs> Yes. Dots it is. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah. When was the last time you guys had dinner together? The silence. Truthfully, without any bullshit. We went to Guelph about two and, two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. Yeah, well, hey, hello. <laughs> two and a half years ago. And when was the last time you sat in it here? No? Never done it. Can we do it? No, we can do it. Thank you. There's only one condition that this takes place. The kitchen downstairs don't know about it. And I need a bit of support from you guys as well. Yeah? Because it'd be too exciting. I've sent Richard home. The team may not yeah. be up to this. He's and if it home. goes wrong, I may look a right Days tosser. Yeah. 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 Uh, we had an absolute nightmare night last night. I left you together for two hours and it was the biggest shithole in Britain. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to rectify that. Yeah. You're on the hot plate. You're going to be running the kitchen. OK, and then, if it's going really well, I want you to run the kitchen for half an hour. And God forbid, <laughs> if it is going that well, yeah, scratch your head, scratch your bollocks, I'm not interested. I want you to run the kitchen yep. for half an hour. Yeah? Right. Maybe from 1.30 to 2 o'clock in the morning, I don't know yet. <laughs> Let's just really work for each other. Yeah. 
let's not lose the plot and let's show him, your chef, that you yeah. guys uh, are more talented than he believes you are. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Yeah. Tell you what, why don't you, thank you, why don't you host the meeting? Yeah? Yeah. Two seconds? Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Right, me, I'm shutting up. Okay? You host the meeting. Mm -hmm. You call the shots. Right? Soup. Got soup. Pumpkin. Pumpkin soup, right. yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, it's, it's, it's on your section. Mm -hmm. Fish pie with peas. We've got 12, and we've got one more downstairs, and he beat 30. Mm -hmm. Suckling pig, how long? Comes out in the oven about eight minutes. Okay, that's fine. Right. Apple and almond cake. Yeah, so. Pretty good, okay. Really well done. Yeah, little pen on the back, not a little kiss, though. It's boyfriend. <laughs> Lovely. Right. Nice. So we're going to do the okay, we're going to prove to them, especially Richard, that we can do it without him, yeah? Don't worry, don't worry about it. Okay, Claire? Yeah, no worries. Yes. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Table 37 has arrived. They made a walk back into their own restaurant. So they'll definitely get the a la carte menu. Yeah. Two lamb, one salmon, yes? Yeah, man. Cheers, mate. Hi. Cheers, cocker. I can only pray what? that Neil taste the difference Which in the food. <laughs> then over a nice glass of wine, you can give Richard what for. In the centre of the cutter, think about what you're doing. Don't rush it. Craig, what are you doing? Labeling this tub. How about looking at the food and show a little bit of interest what you're doing? Okay. P, leek tart, a little bit of asparagus, and just glaze that round. This is fucking amazing. Try that tart. No, it's not. Try some. <laughs> if you don't eat that soon, mate, I am. <laughs> Told you I've had a sexual experience downstairs in the kitchen for the last three, four days. Well done. Well done. Salmon. Don't send it, Randall. Don't send it. Salmon, salmon. Yes. Salmon. Watch the hot Thank fat. you. Oh, really Thank you. Well done. They're doing Thank pretty you. good. Good, 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 good. I'm pretty hey. good. Randall. Richard's fired, bro. Table 34, please. <laughs> when he's gone, are you going to be able to instill what he's instilling? He is now in charge of the kitchen, everybody. Right, right. Clock How many lemon order in, please? One lamb, one roast pig, one day from where. Good. You've got to sustain it now, forever. No, no. Do you know what I mean? I am shitting myself to produce this food. I am really, really fucking scared. But I'll die trying. You feel a lot better than last night so far, yeah? I'll say. <laughs> yeah. Um, is that not because? Richard's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. What are you not going to say? We won't have a job if we say <laughs> that. <laughs> well, let me ask you, you've got a pair of bollocks. Has it gone well without Richard? It's gone smooth. <laughs> <laughs> From a monetary point of view, I'm Head Chef Richard know, has been given the night off so I can show the Russian owner, Neil, how strong the kitchen is without him. I think the team have done a bloody good job, but will Neil agree? Table 37 uh, thought the food was absolutely fantastic. I'd like to uh, come down and meet you and the rest of the team. Are they local or...? In the oven? Up. Oh. <laughs> Good job, That's table Guys, 37. Table well done. I mean that, well done. You're responsible for that food. Neil looks delighted. But has he had the bollocks yeah. to read Richard the Riot Act? Yes. Thank you very much. No, seriously, guys, it really was nice. It was absolutely beautiful. You did what tonight? Uh, we all did it in turns. Good yeah, made us all do. We all just kept swapping sections. Yeah. We yeah, all worked well. together as a team and we all, we we all really like... clubbed together. It was great. You let me down tonight. No, oh, we've I done mean, you proud, I think. I thought yeah. we were very well down here. It went smoothly. Very professional. Tonight, for the first time in such a long time, I went and had a meal that I can't complain about at all. Can't. It, 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 fucking sex on a plate, guys. Mm. Remember, you're my boys, my girls. At the end of the end of the time, mine. But I need to know in the next Whoa. two days what you're going to do in the <laughs> shop. Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't know, Richard. I fucking don't know. If you want to go and sit in a bookshop, doing fuck all for the rest of your life. That's your decision. I said it was your decision when you 
want to But you know, the bookshop's good for my degree. I can get my degree there. Got to be by the sharp and curlies there, chef. <laughs> The team performed bloody well tonight. Without that was Richard, fucking... He's like, you're my... Was really close at that, because that is a bad investment. Richard's a fucking slave owner to past life, bro. I'm more than halfway through my week at the glass house. The good news is, the kitchen team are doing really well. Last night, up. they cooked without their head chef, Richard. And did a great in, job. But Richard's still struggling, right. and Neil, the owner, uh, isn't tough enough to get rid of him. Plus. Do you think he takes advantage of you? Because you're such a nice guy to work with? Sometimes, yeah. But then I think everyone takes advantage of me. He gets paid that amount of money yeah, each and every month, and I it's know. a bloody good salary. Mm. But there doesn't seem to be any onus on, you know, evolving. Let's get better. He's got to make money. This is your livelihood. Yeah. This is, this I know it is. This is your, I this. And, your and, lease, yeah. your livelihood, your family, yeah. Yeah. your yeah. money, and if this goes Did tits this up, go, yeah. then they've then, all buggered off and got yeah. a new job. I know that. And you're sat here. Yeah. In the shit. So you're taking a bit out for service, yeah? Okay. Myself, I've never put Richard back in the kitchen. Without him, it's a happier place. Serving better food, but it's Neil's decision. Do you now realise how much talent's in here? Yeah, the guys I've got, what I was saying to them last night, at the end of the day, we are a family and we've got to work it out. Uh, but you're the leader. You're, 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 yeah, the, you're the big eye, the big I'm inspiration. Dad. I want them to come on. So this slide back down, they'll slide back down. No, it's not going to slide back down. Okay. My next challenge, right, to relaunch the menu by the end of the week so the glass house can separate. start to win back its customers. Um, scene, Maybe Richard um, will finally um, show me he can run the kitchen. As far as I'm concerned, it's his last chance. For the team, it's another opportunity to prove themselves. Yeah, good. And that's the most important thing about being a talented cook, you know that? Yeah. Having that inner strength to turn around and say, no, stop, no, that's not good no, enough. No. And what did we talk about yesterday? Mistakes staying where? In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Every time. And the minute you break that cardinal's rule and you start sending those mistakes, because you think the chef won't see it, yeah. I'm going to cane your ass. You know that? Yeah. Aye. <laughs> and, um, you know, like you said, they want to First step of the relaunch is to salad. cut down the menu. I want to give a little bit of twist on there. Yeah. And when I went through the, uh, the, the menus uh, last night, late. I don't know, man. I would have gotten rid of Richard after last night. But... Yeah. How on earth? Let's see if he can pull it back. You get to control that, you know, over, uh, you know. It's a, it's a lot of lot of gear on there, and no, I've not actually sat down and counted it. Uh -huh. If the menu's reduced, I and mean, we've got six starters, six main courses, and five or six puddings, mm -hmm. we're going to sell more of them. Yeah. And yeah. so the more we sell of them, mm. the cheaper it comes to make, yeah. especially when we're doing the lamb shanks. Yeah. I personally don't want to see frozen but lovely in brackets next to chips. If you don't put that, then the buggers turn around and go, it's a lovely meal, but I can't believe your chips are frozen. No, you're the only restaurant I've ever ever come across that writes frozen but lovely. Hot fat, <laughs> vegetables in. As well as reducing the menu, we have to make sure the food's top quality. That's the team's job. So we roast them. Main course, local lamb. I've no doubt Claire can improve on the fatty lamb shank I had when I first ate it. Yeah, I'd hope so. That's what we're looking for there. Oh, that's exactly great. What we're looking for. Okay. But I want it all the way around, not so just on the top. Hurry up, then we're going to make some bread and butter pudding, yes? The bread and butter pudding they used to serve here was pure stodge. My version should be perfect for the new menu. I put Craig yeah, in charge of the recipe. Custard. I hope the god he's up to it. What do we flavour with this time? Is lamb the only baby uh, animal that he is? is. So as he he cooks, socially accepted the whole thing. He's not becoming dry. Think that. Yeah. Okay, is there any ever well, baby told animal? Me last week that we didn't even wash this lettuce. Yes. This is, you know, so. regularly. <laughs> I don't want to hand it there yet. And a dish they could become <laughs> famous for: a classic Caesar salad. That's one for you. So it's live. Look at the contour of the plates going round. So we're putting the top part of the salad around the outside of the plate. We're going to lightly glaze the warm egg in the centre. Parmesan, crispy bacon, and then nice crispy croutons around the outside. There you go. The new glass house Caesar salad. Oh, that's good. Fingers off. Look. Fuck you. Here. Wipe yeah. it. A brand new menu and a fresh start. If all goes well, tonight we'll see the glass house reborn. Let's hope it does. 70 local people have been invited to try the new food. Everything, everywhere, has got to be just right. And I mean right. I mean perfect. You mean perfectly right. Don't take this the wrong way. Yeah. And I mean don't take this the wrong okay, way. Yeah, go on. Last night you had bad breath. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> and when we're standing there... 
I've, I've looked it up. Apparently the meat from a lamb is tenderer compared to the meat obtained from an adult sheep. Interesting. That's why people eat lamb and not sheep. Is Typically, at least. I, again, I, is, is there any other baby animal, though, that people willfully eat? Not that I can think of. Last night you had bad breath. Okay. Yeah? And when we're standing there talking to customers and you're trying to sell them something, yeah, it doesn't smell good. Even Richard seems to realise the importance of tonight's launch. Listen, I'm fired up. It's fucking gonna work. Good. Yeah? Yeah. Let's scream it. Let's fucking shout, Chef. When I call a check out, yeah? Wait yeah. for the end of the check. Yes, Chef! Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. We, Chef! We're there! Well, where did that ginger guy come from? Looking at reducing the menu, Richard, and having um, slashed the prices, this is not an expensive dish to put together, is it? Not, no, not at all. Fresh fish, seasonal fish. I've designed the menu specially for Richard. Everything's cooked in advance, so there's no chance of a mistake. And the haddock cost absolutely nothing this morning. What was it 70 pence a pound? Yeah? Yeah. And it smells lovely. Sex on a spoon. Um, who have we got in uh, that we know tonight? Tabling of all the people locally that have got the B&Bs, bed and breakfast. Well, there's quite a few in the media. Yeah. We've got the, one of the head guys from the tourism. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, they want to contact you, so I'm you gonna, make, uh, make yourself available. I'm going to recharge my mobile, which I uh, turned off many months mm -hmm. ago. Hallelujah. Neil's behaving like a proprietor with balls, proud of his restaurant. You could have just cancelled yeah, your phone fine. if you've had it off. He's even booked the guests in shifts, so there's less pressure on the kitchen. Progress at last. We've just got everybody in by the 8 o'clock, so we've got 25 minutes. This is easy. I thought that woman was freezing there. We have never met. And in two minutes' time, our, our, our silence starts. Claire. Yes? If the kitchen is quiet, everyone can concentrate. Then it should be impossible to confuse orders. Oh no, come on, Randall. Randall, come here. We're supposed to work together on this, aren't you? Rich is calling out orders and you're tipping cutlery upside down. Can at least wait till he's finished first, no? So once he's finished talking to his brigade, Yes, we can give him an answer. Well, this lamb is definitely Fucking better off the bone. Really yes. 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 parsnip. Roast parsnip. Yeah. Your, fa your favourite. Your <laughs> favourite. It's really good. Very, very smooth, so hopefully touch wood last night, it'll be even better. Ian, yeah. let's swap tables. You still have three Caesar salad and one pressed ham. Richard's back in charge of the kitchen. There's only food to reheat, and salad's the dress. The dressing's missing, that's all. Apart from that, it looks lovely. Do you mind if we start? Two pieces of panchette, please. Ian's distraught, but it is Richard's job to check everything before it leaves the kitchen. Stop moving on your toes. Now! Yes! Good lads, good lads, come on. Let's not go down, guys. It's starting. Lift. He's making a lot of noise. At the front. But he's not leading the team. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, nail table's 49, 21 next. Orders are piling up again. Chef, we've got, we got to speed this up. Yes. We're looking bad. Not tonight, please. Not tonight. We're not losing it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, Randall, quicker. Five fish pies. Two, Richard, you're fired, four, bro. Five, six. Six total. Two at the front, Claire. Fifteen. No, that's them. I don't really know what the hell's going on in there, but you know, let me just say, for the last three or four minutes, uh, being in there, it looks shockingly bad. Where's the check on, Claire? 49, it's up in the top. No, don't go. 49, yeah? You got the number? They really have managed to fuck it up properly, again. And they don't have to cook anything except dress a salad and talk to each other. They can't even do that, so uh, this is a fucking embarrassment. Wait one second, listen. Yeah, that's fine. Take one Caesar salad out, please. Richard? Yes. Salad out. Change the table number to 51. Richard, 51. Next. Well, I'm not taking any prisoners anymore. I'm seriously not. People don't pull away, they're out of here. Because I'm not fucking about. And do it. 
I won. Table 12. Um, what's that there for, Rich? <laughs> Neil may say he won't take prisoners, but surely he can see Richard can't cut it. But instead of plucking up the courage to sack his chef, he moans about my Caesar salad. You don't get it all. Too big. In comparison to what you were serving. Yeah, I know what we were serving, but the sauce with that is absolutely beautiful. The dressing is very rich. Absolute pants. Um, Total bollocks. That is a proper Caesar salad. Done. What I haven't done is crushed the lettuce and the shit I saw last week with cooked jumping on the salad I'm not and squashing. Now let me finish. Go, squashing go. the salad up the side of the bowl, and you're telling me that's too big. That is fresh salad, beautifully washed. And I haven't even put my hands in it to dress it. I've let it dress itself in the bowl. So what you're telling me is absolute bollocks. And I'm ready for a fucking argument. Right now. Let's go. You're talking if you out your ass. Argument, if you want an argument, you're talking can, out your ass. Can we go outside? No, I'll go anywhere. Park. You're talking right, out your ass. They're fighting over salad, brothers. You're talking out your ass. There's no point talking to me. He's going to use that language in the restaurant. Oh, really? They're fighting over salad. <laughs> Amazing. He's got big enough bollocks to stand up to me, but he can't tell his own chef who's paid 25 grand a year that it's time he took his P45. We survived the evening, but only just. I shouldn't care, but I do like these guys, and I want the place to be a success. <laughs> I shouldn't care. I am so distraught with Richard tonight. He couldn't organise it, couldn't control it. And you know what? He had nothing to bloody cook. Hey. It's my last day at the glass house. Hey. It's red tree time. Yeah? How far is it from here? Just around the car, eh? About two minutes. Yeah. The most important thing now um, is to tell the real workers they've done a great job. I didn't think I was actually capable of doing the sweets until he actually came. Uh -huh. But now I think that I've I'm just starting to get the hang of it, mm -hmm. and we will keep the standards up because you've really done done a beautiful. lot for the kitchen, and you've done a lot for me personally as well. You've done it for yourself. All I've done is drawn it out of you. That's all. Got it in here. Yeah, out. yeah. I, that's, that's it. All. That's you've what done it. So I felt it today when I had my little time to myself. I just couldn't couldn't help but just stand there and just go, bloody hell, this is me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you haven't had any sleep since no. last night. No. My God, why are you sleeping? Just a dress, just a, the rush of the job. So, uh, the rush of the job? Oh, yeah. The inspiration I get from you. <laughs> you honestly haven't slept? No, honestly, no. Bloody hell, Randall. This is not an SAS course, you know that. Randall, gotta get some sleeping, boy. He so fired up, he hasn't slept? Sorry, so he hasn't God, slept maybe we are related <laughs> after all. <laughs> wood, 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 through. You have a natural touch with food, you know that. You walk around the kitchen like a ballerina. And just the way you position yourself, you're agile, you're on your toes. Bro, Ramsey's gonna yoink this guy. For three months. Yeah. Right. Touch yourself. Does it get it? Okay. Yeah, a little bit of I'm really touch. going to miss Claire. Because your strength over the last seven days has been inspirational. <laughs> I think I'm gonna sell my shop. And I'm gonna get it back into the kitchen as soon as possible. I think that's a good idea. Gordon Ramsey thinks I'm a really good chef. <laughs> Oh my god. That's fair enough, honestly. Neil had a word. Well, you guys have a word every night after service. What did he say last night? He gave me the options, three options, and took the third one. Uh, what were the options? Well, one, one to leave, two to take a pay cut and uh, drop down the ladder, and three to stay, work my arse off, develop the guys, carry on with what we've been doing over the last few days, and, and go for it. Are you confident Why would he that have... you can become the new glass house chef? Yeah. No, he's not. How long will you give him to pull his socks up? A month. A month. Yeah. yeah. Just promise me one thing. Yeah. You make the fucking decision and you stick to it. No, I want more than anything in my heart for Richard to prove me wrong. And I hope he does. <laughs> Never let your mistakes Leave your kitchen. Oh. Randall, I want you to hang that up That's with a bit of pride and passion. And I want that to replace that disgusting, dingy, horrible, yellow, smelly clock downstairs. Hey. Come on! Hey! Oh! Who's that, Chef? They put a fake dog noise. <laughs>
Three months have passed since I've spent a week at the Glass House restaurant trying to rescue it from disaster. Uh oh. Menu looks nice, nice and small. Whew. Now I'm back to see what, if anything, has changed. Hello, Neil. Hello, Mr. Ramsey. How are you? How are you? Good nice to see you. Well? Right. Yeah. I'm still in business yes. three months later. That's good. You look good. a lot more relaxed. Yeah, you look a little. I, I, you look happier. I'm a different person to the you one that say it, bro. was here. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different Neil to the first person you saw good. when you came in, and I'm complete. I'm more confident. You know, I mean, you came in and you highlighted things that I kind of knew that they were there, but they were buried in the back of my head. You know, you brought them all to the forefront. Yeah. And, and, and I'm glad you did that. And but God, what a week, though. I mean, we went through a roller coaster. It was event. a hell of a week. We had our highs and our lows. Things were really grim when I first came here. Sadly, I did. And by grim, I mean catastrophic. That was um, stuck at the back of my throat, but however. Rich is calling out orders, and you're tipping cutlery upside down. Yeah, I'm going to cane your ass, you know that? <laughs> not tonight, please, not tonight. The kitchen team came into their own when I gave head chef Richard the night off. Good, 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 good. I'm bloody good. Let me ask you, you've got a pair of bollocks. Has it gone well without Richard? It's gone smooth. <laughs> I'll die trying. You're talking out your ass. I'll go anywhere. You're talking right, out your ass. You fought of salad. You hated my Caesar salad. Caesar salad. I didn't hate I your Caesar salad. It was just too bloody big. <laughs> I'll still stand by that. Um, the big question. Yeah. Who's the chef? Richard. Richard is still here. Yes. He's downstairs. He's downstairs. I'm gonna get and him. he's nervous, so be oh, nice to him, yeah? Right, be nice. Morning, guys. Morning. Good morning, Gordon. How are you, Richard? Very well, you. You well? Yeah, sound. One thing I have noticed, as soon as I walked in um, to the kitchen, is how these plastic containers start creeping back out everywhere. <laughs> Look at all them along there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're back. The new dishes that you've involved um, and, and put on the menu, are We're doing a Telagio pomegranate risotto. Mm -hmm. uh, which that sounds is... intriguing. So we've got a crunchy pomegranate seeds. Yeah. Mixed in risotto. Yeah. Sounds um, fucking Looks revolting. cleaner, though. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Welcome back. This is a new dish that we put on. Tell me about it. That's a puff pastry. Yeah, we've got some red, onion, red onion over there. And we've got mm -hmm. put goat's cheese on top of that. Nice bit, to see Craig's cooking more. Yeah, and we sold about seven when we put it first on. Ian, what have you been doing new and exciting to tell me? Uh, got a toffee fruit crumble on now. Toffee well. fruit crumble? Yeah. That sounds good. Like crumble well. cool. with creme fresh and egg on. That sounds really nice. It's yeah, winter in the middle yeah, of the lane district. I mean, absolutely beautiful. I thought Ian had real talent. I'd give him a job in one of my kitchens any day. And his girlfriend. Nice. Yoink are both, bro. And where's my sweetheart, Claire? Where, where is she? Uh, she had problems selling the shop. I couldn't get out of it. And uh, she comes in at weekends, gives us a lift at weekends, keeps her hand in. It's a shame. Yeah. She's a big loss. And my fellow Scott Randall. He's gone too. Ah, I knew it. Sad. Sad. Yes. Is risotto. I'm not surprised so Reynolds gone, bro. Flat leaf, parsley, and pomegranate. It'd be nice to win, win him over. Neil's hung in there, but it can't have been easy. It's gone closer to the wire than I'd realised. How uh, close were you to closing the door? Very close. The worst thing for me was like not being able to pay the guys. At one stage, I didn't, I didn't think I'd be able to pay them. You know, and I think oh, these guys, shit. they put the effort in, they put the graft in, they've done everything there, and they've always been behind you. Um, and it's like suddenly you can't put any money in the pocket. And it's been a constant struggle. But it's like now I'm, I can actually say to myself, well, I'm going to start reaping the rewards. Mm -hmm. And I will do. You know, and I'm a lot more positive about it. In fact, January has been fantastic. Weekends have been busy. You know, there is a difference in the food, you know, presentation. It just looks. And slick. It tastes, you know, tasty. Well, thank you. You're still a bugger. Still not convinced about my pomegranate risotto. Are you know, I'm going to think about that one <laughs> on the train on the way back because that, yeah, that beats my fucking head in that one. Um, <laughs> it's been a pleasure today, and it's been of interest. Um, keep it up. Clink, yes. Clink. Yeah. Clink. There's lots to celebrate. Turnover's up 20% and rising. The restaurant's building a good reputation and going from strength to strength. I wonder if they made you it. You never know. Neil's nervous breakdown might never happen. <laughs> when you come back, just book on someone else's name. Sorry? Yeah. That's it now. Every bloody name that books will be going, guy sounding funny on the phone. I'm <laughs> telling you, it's Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> 
God. I really hope this succeeds, and I really hope they do well. But any chef that comes up with a risotto finished with bloody pomegranates needs a kick up the arse. <laughs> Again. Well. Pomegranates in a fucking risotto. <laughs> they must be off their fucking rocket. <laughs> so I looked it up. Um, they made it until March of 2014. And this was filmed in 2003. So that's pretty good, honestly. I, I, I'd say that's pretty good. Um, it, it's now a pub called the Flying Fleece, apparently. It was sold to new owners in 2020. And when it was closed in 2014, it became the Fulling Mill, uh, which was also apparently pretty good before it became a pub. But it made it 11 years after Ramsey left. I don't know why they closed, if it just took a turn for the worse or because uh, the owners wanted to sell. But this one actually worked out. A lot better than Bonaparte's. A lot better than Bonaparte's. Um, I'm glad Richard was able to turn it around a bit. I'm still not sure. Uh, I, but clearly, it, it worked out fine. I wonder how long he stayed there, though. You know? Them, you know... Uh, that them because they stayed around for 11 years so i wonder how long he stayed afterwards um if he was there that entire time i guess no but who knows honestly uh but honestly i, I after you know he was gone and then the whole kitchen just did fucking great it seemed like the writing was kind of on the wall there but i guess it worked out for the most part so good episode there because i'll tell you what Glad to hear a better story at the end, because what happened with Bonaparte's was fucking depressing, bro. Like, the owner, I think, of Bonaparte's went homeless, and she tried to sue Ramsey, claiming the whole thing was fake, and it wasn't, so she lost the lawsuit, and he won, like, a lot of money and damages, and yeah, the whole Bonaparte's thing ended up fucked up, so I'm, I'm glad this had a happier ending. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well... Uh, that is going to do it for my second reaction to Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares. If you want me to continue going in order, I'm happy to do that. If you want me to mix it up, again, I don't think there's any problem with that, so I can do that too. That is going to do it for me today, though. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, my second channel for recent reviews, my Twitter, for follow me on my Patreon. If you want to support me in my daily motion, all those things are in the description down below. Thank you to all my Patrons who can't support me in my channel. You're all named in the description. For those that know, you can be Patreon on me for as little well as $1 or £1. Pound. You exit direction videos, as well as reading your comments up to date early and your name description as well also in the description is a link to the community right as well as the daily schedule as well as the twitch files channel for that being said though my name is taffer it's been my second reaction to rams kitchen nightmares and i'll see you guys next time bye